On June 22nd and 23rd, 2019, the Eparchy of Parma celebrated the Golden Jubilee of its establishment as a Byzantine Catholic Eparchy, and the Metropolitan Church of Pittsburgh celebrated the Golden Jubilee of its elevation as a Metropolitan Church. The establishment of the Byzantine Catholic Church in the United States dates back to 1924, with the emergence of an exarchate for believers from the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. It has gradually developed into today's Metropolitan Church with four geographic areas, or eparchies, headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Passaic, New Jersey, Parma, Ohio, and Phoenix, Arizona. The turning point was on February 21st, 1969, when the eparchy in Pittsburgh was elevated to a Metropolitan Church, and later that year, a new eparchy of Parma was also created, and Emil Mihalik, whose parents came from the Slovak village of Hrabske near Baryadov, was appointed as the first bishop of Parma. The current bishop of the eparchy of Parma is Milan Lach, a Jesuit from Slovakia. The Golden Jubilee fell in June because the first eparchial bishop of Parma was ordained and enthroned in June 1969. The hierarchical divine liturgy was celebrated in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist by Archbishop William Skirla, Metropolitan of Pittsburgh, with Cardinal Leonardo Sandri from the Vatican presiding. In many cases of the emigration, uh, sons were separated of their mothers and they remain in the motherland, and uh, the sons and doctors began here, or in, in another place, places, a new life. We must never forget our motherland. And then this anniversary is the occasion also to say to all the Ruthenians and Slovaks in Slovakia and uh, in other countries that we are united by this rich tradition and especially by the, uh, the holiness of many people, many priests, uh, lay people who were here, who be, be, uh, arrived here in the United States and were testimonies and witnesses of their own faith in Jesus Christ. According to recent statistics, the Eparchy of Parma has more than 9,000 believers with 21 priests serving in 29 parishes and missions. The priests are assisted by 16 deacons, and three young men are preparing for the priesthood in St. Cyril and Methodius Seminary in Pittsburgh. In the eparchy, Christ the Bridegroom Greek Catholic Monastery has six religious sisters who live their consecrated life according to their own monastic rule, or typicon, approved by the eparchial bishop. Bishop Milan Lach is the first bishop in the history of the Eparchy of Parma to be born in Europe. Currently, several priests from Slovakia are helping him in his pastoral ministry. A ja by som sa veľmi e, sa zdieľať možno aj s tou radosťou, ktorú, ktorú sme dnes prežívali tu v Parme, v katedrále e, s jeho eminenciou kardinálom Leonardom Sandrim, so 17 biskupmi z Európy, ako aj zo Spojených štátov. Práve tie naše radosti toho, že ako som povedal, pred 50 rokmi, kedy vznikla metropolitná církev sú Juris v Spojených štátoch v Pittsburghu a eparchia Parma, ako v ľudskom tele jedno tel, časť tela cíti bolesť. A tá bolesť bola, keď sme trpeli, sme boli prenasledovanými v Československu, v Sovietskom zveri, naši, naši grecko-katolíci, kedy naši biskupy nemohli sa vyjadriť, nemohli byť na, na druhom vatikánskom koncíle účastní, ale tento hlas zo Spojených štátov našich biskupov stále znel a sme vedeli, že máme biskupov a že aj my raz budeme mať biskupov aj svoju hierarchiu, svoju církev a to vyjadruje práve tú krásu aj tú radosť v nás aj dnes, aj v tom možno spoločenstve menšom, ale o to srdečnejšom práve pre, práve preto, aby sme šli dopredu, lebo aj církev v Spojených štátoch, aj naša grecko-katolická církev má víziu, má budúcnosť, ale musíme dôverovať Ježišovi Kristovi, že On je našou hlavou a On nás vedie tomu väčšnému cieľu Božiemu kráľovstvu.
Glory to Jesus Christ. It is with great joy that we welcome Your Eminence, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, to the Archeparchy of Pittsburgh and to the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist here in Munhall. We thank you for being with us today as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Metropolitan Church of Pittsburgh. As part of the Universal Church, we offer our prayers for your eminence as you continue to serve the Church as Prefect for the Congregation of the Eastern Churches. Continue to pray for our clergy, religious, faithful, and especially for vocations in the Byzantine Catholic Church in the United States. We ask your eminence to bestow upon us your blessings and to remember us all in your prayers. An important celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Byzantine Catholic Metropolitan Church of Pittsburgh took place on June 23rd in the Cathedral of John the Baptist. The cathedral is very similar in architecture to the great church of Hagia Sophia in Constantinople, the center of the ancient Byzantine Empire from where Eastern Christianity originated in the Carpathian Mountains. Well, it's a joyous celebration of the 50th anniversary of the, the Metropolitan Church and also for the birth of the Eparchy of Parma yesterday. And then we always look at it as a, a time where we became our own particular church within the Catholic Communion. And it's important because it gives us a voice within the larger uh, communion of churches within in the Catholic Church, and it gives us a possible, you know, kind of being able to gift that church with our special charism as Byzantine Catholics in our spirituality. Hundreds of believers, more than a hundred clergy, and a dozen Greek Catholic bishops from different eparchies attended the Jubilee Liturgy. God gave us the law that on the seventh day we should rest from our labor, that he might take care of us, and every seven years, the soil rests so that it can be fruitful. And after seven times seven, 49 years, in the 50th year is a jubilee year in which God orders us to thank Him for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and to forgive each other our debts and to return land that has been mortgaged. So this year we celebrate the 50th year of the Metropolia of Pittsburgh, including its suffragan diocese. And we thank God for the many blessings that he's given us in the past 50 years, and especially for the beautiful people who pray in our churches. The main celebrant of the liturgy was Archbishop and Metropolitan William Skirla, along with His Eminence Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, Prefect of the Congregation for the Eastern Churches in the Vatican. Eh, abbiamo partecipato con grande gioia a questa divina liturgia per i 50 anni della met metropolia di Pittsburgh dei Ruteni e veramente ho sentito tante spirituali emozioni nelle preghiere, nei canti e soprattutto nel vedere che questa chiesa locale, questa archieparchia, ha vissuto sì 50 anni, ma ha di fronte un futuro ancora di impegno, di lavoro, di missionarietà. Ed è quello che io ho augurato a questa archieparchia, all'arcivescovo, ai sacerdoti, ai fedeli, che possano continuare avanti nella testimonianza cristiana con grande impegno, eh, dando a tutti questo esempio di fedeltà alla fede cattolica, di appartenenza alla Chiesa e di servizio ai fratelli. The Pittsburgh Metropolitan has four dioceses, more than 200 parishes, 20 missions, and about 100,000 faithful. Well, I think it really is a time for us to look back over our history of the Metropolia in America um, remembering the, the hordes of people that immigrated into the United States that came from Slovakia and from Ukraine and Romania and Hungary. So that 
to, to establish this church and then it gives us a chance to reflect. But more importantly, I think it, it gives us the opportunity to look to the future of how do we become not just a larger church, but a more vibrant church? How do we, how do we begin to integrate our Byzantine Catholic faith and the way that we approach Jesus Christ um, into and proclaim it in America so that people can know not just people that are ethnically f and have a history with Eastern Europe, but any American can come and find the beauty of Jesus Christ within our, within our tradition and the way that we um, live our life in Christ. The life of the Metropolitan Church in the United States has seen many changes over the past 50 years. For example, in recent years since the fall of communism in Eastern Europe, the Metropolitan Church of Pittsburgh has increasingly cooperated with the churches in Transcarpathia, Slovakia, and Hungary. Almost all the parishes in America celebrate the Divine Liturgy in English, with a few hymns in Church Slavonic. The hymns follow the common tradition of plain chant, which is known as prostopinie. The American and Eastern European faithful also share liturgical customs and traditions, such as blessed meals for Pascha and Christmas. With a common past and a growing sense of cooperation, our churches in America and Eastern Europe are united in hope for the future.